Well, fortunately, it looks like I have a bit of raccoon damage in the garden today. The mulch is scattered everywhere. I've got some broken plants and these Queen Anne's lace that I'm so excited about have been chewed up a bit. And I say it's raccoons because I saw one on my deck last night. So I think they are the ones that did this. So I'm gonna be looking for some plants or other ways to deter a raccoon from the garden. On a brighter note, I do have a zinnia blooming. It's a zinnia over there getting ready. And our sunflowers, the deer didn't get them, but something else is getting them. Every year, I don't have sunflowers because of this kind of stuff. Everybody likes a sunflower. Here is the garden. This is two months after I planted it. And some of the plants are doing really, really well. The celosia is struggling to come back after its serious deer pinching. There's a little tiny one. It is blooming. There's another one with a little bloom. They have been seriously chomped at the salad bar. I threw in some marigold seeds just recently to try to deter the deer because I know they really don't like them. And they are growing. They'll be bright yellow. Queen Anne's lace has recovered from its raccoon pinching and is actually really close to blooming. They're one of my favorites, so I'm excited about it. They really should be blooming by now, but as long as they bloom, I'll be happy. The blush pink cosmos are looking beautiful. These almost white cosmos are interesting. They have a single layer of these wide petals. Now the zinnias look really fabulous. So bright and cheerful. There's some pretty pale pink. A beautiful deeper pink. Orange. Hi, Buck. How are you? Then we have these giant coral. Gorgeous. These are the lily put mix and the giant coral.
I have my two surviving sunflowers. They don't look that great. I don't know if we're going to get a bloom or not. They also should be blooming by now, but we'll take what we can get. I've been trying to protect them with this windsock. I do spray the deer scram, but they can't resist a sunflower. That's my good boy. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I love. Now my wild flowers. Oh, there's a celosia. The deer did not get. Maybe because it's next to this little solar light. I don't know. There it is. That's blooming. My wild flowers are these cute little delicate blossoms, which I think they're going to be great for putting in resin. Hi, George. Look at these cute little flowers. They are small. I was expecting them to be tall, but these are cute. I can use them. The tomatoes? Well, they're not faring very well back here. It seems they loved their place in the front of my house, but don't really like it back here. Plus, the deer have been munching. And there are still two surviving. One's turning a little blush, almost time to pick. Farmer Bob says, pick them when they're blush. If you wanna see more of Farmer Bob's tips, look for my Farmer Bob video on his tomato plants. Some little mushrooms and marigold growing back here from seeds. We have leaves falling. The trees are probably stressed because they didn't have much rain and it was so hot this summer. So that's how it's looking after only two months. And then next year I will get everything in quicker because I won't be building the garden. I thank you for watching. And I thank you for subscribing and leaving me any questions or comments that you may have. See you next time. Good boy.